Hey everyone, so this is uh, Unit 3, Module 3, Session 4, Homework. Um, as always, please make sure you uh, try as many as you can. Um, if you're stuck, press play. Once you get it, try a couple, and then um, press play again to see if you got your answers right. All right, here we go. So two fractions that are equal to the decimal number. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say that this, there's all kinds of answers, but I know that this first one right here, see if this works, is one tenth. So I know if I also uh, attach a zero here, it would be 10 hundredths. So I think that's going to be my theme this time. And um, we'll see if that makes sense overall. So this one right here ends in the hundredth. So I, my first one is going to be one one hundredth. And then I'm going to attach a zero. So it's going to be 10 one thousandths. There we go. Um, so this next one, tenths, one hundredths, thousandths. This is one one thousandth. And we could go, we could change it a little bit. Um, but I'm going to make it, uh, I'm just going to attach a zero, 10 ten thousandths. And then the next one is five one hundredths. So I could simplify it, but I'm just going to, maybe this is the easy way out, 50 one thousandths. If I put a zero on there, see that? All right, let's change the color. I'm gonna look at a blue this time. Um, complete the chart below. So they wanna take each number, they're gonna um, subtract a tenth, add a tenth, subtract a hundredth, add a hundredth, and then the same thing with a thousandth. So let's just look at this one. So the only thing that's going to change the first one is I'm going to do the first two columns first. So I'm just going to mess with the tenth. Okay. No tenth there. Um, so 8.7, so 8 and 73 hundredths. So it's 7 tenths. It's going to be 8 and 63. And then if I'm going to go one less than four, so 406 hundredths, 40 tenths is going to be 39 tenths and my six hundredths. So I subtracted a tenth. Um, the next one, instead of 69 tenths, it's going to be 68 tenths. The next one, let's just look at the tenths. So, so there's 28 tenths. I'm going to make it 27 tenths. And I'll just put the 96 back in there. So instead of 89, it was 79 now. Um, then this one, instead of 60 tenths, it's going to be 50 tenths. Okay. So then keeping with the tenths, let's go greater now. So if it was 87 tenths on the first one, it's 88 tenths. Put that three back in there. Um, if it was 40 tenths, it's um, 50. Oh, excuse me. If it's 40 tenths, it's 41 tenths. Okay. And then if it was 69 tenths in this next one, it's 70 tenths. 28 tenths goes up to 29 tenths. I just put the 9 and the 6 back in there. And then um, 60 tenths becomes 61 tenths. And I'm going to correct myself. I'm going to go back and correct myself. Um, I was thinking ones here. So this one, I made a mistake right here. Instead of 60 tenths, it's 59 tenths. All right. So that was a mistake. I just caught it. Sorry, it took me so long. All right. Let's look at the next next number. So now we're looking at the um, hundredths. So I'm looking at this number. All right here's a zero. Here's a three. Zero. Is nine. Zero. Okay. Uh, one less. So there's 120 hundredths. Oh, look, they said 119. I'm not going to do that one. So 873 hundredths. Um, one less than that is 872 hundredths. 406 hundredths is 405 hundredths. And then 690 hundredths is 689 hundredths. 289 becomes 288 put that six back and then 600 hundredths is the same well then i'm going to go one less 599 so now i'm going one more 
um, 87, um, excuse me, 873 hundredths becomes 874. Uh, 406 becomes 407. 690 becomes 691. Uh, 289 becomes 200. Oops, that's I got ahead of myself. I was thinking of the 9. 290. I put that 6 back in there. And then 600 becomes 601. All right, um, might as well do the challenge since we're here. Um, now we're just looking in the uh, the thousands place. Put my thousands in there. There's a six in there, so okay. So one less. They say eight thousand seven hundred thirty thousandths becomes eight thousand seven hundred twenty-nine. Um, let's just go from there. Let's just go one more. Eight thousand seven hundred thirty. All right. All right. So this one, the next one is 4,060. So one less be 4,059. My thousand is a decimal though. So 4,059 thousandths. Um, and then one more than that is 4,000. So four and 61 thousandths. Uh, next one, 6,900 becomes 6,901. Oh, excuse me. I did the wrong one. 6,899. This one's become 6,901. All right. 2,896. 2,895. And 2,897. 6,000 becomes 5,999. And this becomes 6,001. All right, hopefully you tried a few of those. Hopefully those make sense. Um, now let's go to rounding, okay? So I'm gonna do all my tenths first. So it gives you a hint, look at the, the thousandths place. So right here is a six, so this becomes zero point, oh. I can't make it a 10 because that pushes over. So actually I can, so that makes this nine, a 10. So it becomes 1.0 in the tenths place. The next one is a two, so it's become 0, 0.0 because well, that zero can't round up because it needs to be five or higher for that. The two needs to be five or higher. So 6.0 or 6.1, there's nothing next to it. So it's 6.0. I'm gonna erase these. All right, nearest hundredth. So now, Let's change the colors. Um, that's six. It's gonna be 96 or 97. There's nothing next to it, so it's 96 hundredths. Um, there's a two with a seven next to it. That's five or higher, so it becomes a three. And then this next one hundredths, there's an eight next to it. So it's gonna round up six and zero one. Okay. Let's, they say there's a challenge again. I think you guys can do it. Um, I'm going to go blue. Okay. So 96, 960. There's an 8 next to it. So 961. Uh, 27. There's a 4 next to it. It stays 27 thousandths. And then 600... Eight, so five next to it, or six thousand, six thousand nine. Okay, let's keep going. All right, this one's a little confusing the words, but then once you look at it a little closer, it's not that bad. A micrometer is one millionth of a meter, ten thousand times as short as a centimeter. How many micrometers long is that one edge of a centimeter cube? Well, they told us it's ten thousand times as short as a centimeter. Okay, so how many micrometers? So I believe there are 10,000 micrometers. Micrometers. In one edge. Okay. Uh, next one, the football team for the University of Tennessee. The Tennessee Volunteers plays its home games in Neyland Stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee. This is crazy. The stadium holds about 100,000 people. That's pretty crazy. 
you can uh, you can imagine it says or excuse me you can do an image search I'm not gonna do it on here right now um, how many stadiums would stadiums would it take to hold 1 million people um, so let's figure it out I know there's a hundred thousand in one stadium I know that there's 200,000 in two stadiums and I know if I keep going, it's 300,000, excuse me, um, it's 300. So if I keep going, I believe there's going to be 10 of those in a million, 10, 100,000 equal tens, uh, a million. So this is 1 million divided by 100,000. Okay. I think the answer is 10. All right. According to estimates, there are over 300 million people living in the United States. How many Eland stadiums would it take to hold 300 million people? Um, well, let's do this. We know there's 100,000 people that um, fit into that fit into the stadium. We know there's 10 of them in a million. We already have an answer right here. Um, so let's just divide 300 million, million divided by 1 million. That equals 300, right? So then 300 times 10 is just simply 300 with one more zero. 3,000 um, stadiums. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I have time for this next one. We're rounding to the nearest one million. These are tough. Okay. So I want the nearest million. So I'm going to be at 78 million or 79 million. I look at this. There's an eight there. 79 million. Okay. Uh, nearest million. I'm looking at this five. There's a six next to it. It's going to round up. So 66 million. Um, so this next one, I'm going to look at the eight and there's another eight neck there. It's going to round up. So it's 49 million. All right. This next one, Argentina, I'm going to look at this two. There's a one next to it. So it's not going to round at all. So it's 42 million. And then I'm going to look at Sudan. Uh, there's a four there. It's a two though, so it just becomes thirty-four thousand, or excuse me, thirty-four million. All right. Then they want you to round it to the nearest hundred thousand, back to the original number. That's the tricky part. Okay, hundred thousand. So this next one is um, right here. Is it close to 800,000 or 900,000? Well, it's 78 million. And I think 68 is closer to the going up. 900,000. All right. So now the next one, let's look at this. 630 rounds to 630. So it's 65 million. 600. 600 doesn't round to 630 it rounds to 600 all right the next one 860 rounds to up to 900 because there's 60 in there so 48 million um 900 thousand all right let's do the next one argentina so it's going to be 192 thousand so it's going to be close to 100 or 200. I think it's close to 200. So 42 million, 200,000. And the next one, is it close to 200 or 300,000? I think it's close to 200, 34, 200 zero, zero, million. All right, let's see if I have time for one more. Oh, 